Tops has a new formula and it's proving to work. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to stop. They're only going to continue to try to outdo themselves. There's some huge cards awaiting to be hit. These one of one cards are life changing cards. I don't know if you remember, maybe two years ago now, the Magic the Gathering, the one ring, one of one. It was in packs. It was pulled, I believe, from someone in Canada. He sold the card to Post Malone for over a million dollars. Changed the dude's life. Honestly, it was it was magical. I had planned to go to the store. I went up to the counter. I bought two extra boxes. This pack right here. Um, it was in there. And I knew, like, it's life-changing. And that's what this Otani card will do. Team USA card will do. I'm not saying they'll all break a million dollars, but they'll change people's lives. There's the Steph Curry Messi card. Let's start with Otani. It's hard not to start anything with Otani. I believe as of making this video, he has four games left. He's hit 53 home runs and 56 stolen bases. His, the interesting thing, the final series, his last three games are in Colorado, a very home run friendly ballpark. And he's hit well there. He's stolen bases there. He's only four bases shy of stealing 60. There's actually a good chance he steals 60 bases. I didn't think there was any, I didn't think that was going to happen when he hit 50 50. Interestingly enough, I love the reason I really like tops now is we get print runs right away. This broke the record. There was more of these cards ordered than the USA card, the triple auto. There was 653,737 copies sold. Do you know how much money Topps just made? <laughs> Unreal. You know, unreal. And it's all for a shot at the 50-50 card, which will sell for a ton of money. It's life-changing money that card will be. Not only that, we're still waiting for the 40-40. We really are. We'll still we'll still waiting to find the 40-40 get pulled. There's an auto one of one. And that will also sell for a lot of money. Before we move on from Otani and the 50-50, the dude that hit caught the ball, he decided not to sell it. The Dodgers offered him, I believe, 300 grand, and he said no. The very next day, a According to what I'm reading, this is a CNN article. Ken Golden, the dude, according to Ken Golden, the dude reached out to Golden. And right now it is being consigned by Ken Golden in an auction. Golden says this. He says it's one of the easiest consignments ever. Otani hits 50 on Thursday. Literally Friday, we heard from the guy. He contacted Golden on his own through social media. We flew a security guard down to Miami on Monday with a representative from Golden and flew back Monday. And so now this card is gonna go up for auction at an automatic, it's an automatic sale at four and a half million dollars. And if that's not reached by, I believe, early October, it goes to auction. And it starts at $500,000, more than the Dodgers will willing to offer. I've seen different, I've read different articles. I've seen this ball is going to sell for three million. The dude's asking four and a half on the spot. The Dodgers definitely low ball at 300 grand, and he chose to put it on the open market, and that's probably the right choice in any circumstance. You want an Otani autograph bat? Go buy it with your money. You want season tickets? Go buy it with your money. Like the open market for something like this is the way to go. Absolutely. So we're still waiting for this 4040 card. I have the print run on that. 156,658 print run. Over a hundred thousand of these things ordered. Over 150,000. That's the 4040. I could have swore. I tried to order the 5050, the 24 hour release, not 72 hours, which may, and maybe I'm wrong, but I did go try to buy it and it was. It's incredible that they got over 600. That makes me question, maybe I'm wrong. They had over 600,000 copies, the most ever. Unbelievable. So we're moving on from Otani. We're still waiting for the big triple auto, the Durant, Curry, and LeBron James Auto USA representing the gold medal. That feels like forever ago. Right now on eBay, you can find the tops now sealed envelope 
for about two to three hundred dollars. I think that's ridiculous to buy. You can kind of feel if it's a heart, what's in there? Is it a pack going to be in there? It's a hard case with the cards in it. Ah, I don't see why you would spend two to three hundred dollars. You could buy the regular card. It's selling for close to just about five dollars. And that's a chance at what's in this open, this sealed envelope. However, the actual, and, and what's happening here is people are probably mistaking that for the actual pack. The actual pack just recently sold September 10th for $1,500. I have another one sold September 4th for $2,000. So the actual pack itself is still expensive. And so far, as far as all my research, no one's broke a story. The one of one Team USA card has been hit. I mean, it's interesting follow and it's, that is a life changing card. Whoever pulls that card, it will change their life. My heart was racing. My like, hands were shaking. I was like, no way. Then you read the one of one and I'm like, no, this can't be real. Meeting Post Malone was like, I, I can't even, like a year ago, I couldn't, I couldn't even imagine this, you know? Tops, Tops also probably made $5 million or something in a snap of a finger in three days. The card's available three days. They're printing money. This is the way. They'll keep making boxes. I, I mean, there's a lot of uh, articles or videos made. I've said this, you know, collectors are re really priced out at this point on hobby boxes. That's become a, a gambler's paradise. This is more for the collectors. You see print runs, you buy what you want. It's a reasonable price. And now there's a chase card involved. There's always kind of been a chase card. Now they're putting it on steroids. They're being smart about it. I, I like the Curry Messi card. I think it's a win. The print run on that, 110,000, little over 110,000. So you can see all these cards getting over 100,000. From these are huge cards. Most of their cards don't get that. The average Joe card, Bro, maybe 5,000 if that, the average baseball card release. These are huge cards. Let's go back to the very first Topps card ever. It was made in 2016. Trevor Story was a rookie. And I believe he had a two hit home run game. April 4th, 2016, his Major League de debut. He happens to hit two home runs. Didn't quite live up to that. This card helped launch the product's concept, capturing a key moment right away. We have the print run here. I thought I found it. Uh, maybe not. It's currently selling between a dollar, I found sales as low as that, to $15 graded. It's not like a held price, but Trevor Story, again, he didn't live up to it. The following year, Aaron Judge broke the home run record for a rookie, 50 home runs. That had a print run of 16,000 and that was the record at the time. And currently that card still sells for a lot of money. Uh, currently I saw, I don't know, $1,000, $1,500. At the time, you could have straight up bought the auto of this card for $800 at that time. It seems like that probably did well in price over the years considering Aaron Judge is still caught. If he was a Trevor Story, would that have card appreciated like that? No, you would have lost a lot of money. Here are some other huge sales, some of the biggest sales. I think as of now, this $30,000 Wembayama, his number one pick card, they came out with that in the tops now, even though they didn't have NBA at the time. Uh, this draft card with Wembayama, I believe they had the rights to the rookies, and that's why they were able to do this with Wemby. And the auto sold for over 30 grand. Here's another one. This is a $22,000 Otani, a one of one. These are all one of ones. These are all the biggest chase cards out of these print runs. This card sold for $22,000. This is 2018 Tops Now Road to Opening Day Auto. Otani will find himself, himself a lot on this list. And now this 60 50 50 card and his 40 40 card will be on here. This card sold for 20 grand with Otani and Acuna Auto. This is not, this is, this is a huge card. 2016 is one of the first, uh, it's the first year of Tops now. And this is the Game 7 World Series. It's dual auto, Chris Bryant and Rizzo. Again, one of one, the Cubs, their misery. A huge market for this card in the Midwest, I would say with some, that's my take on it. 20 grand it sold for, just under, back in 2020. I don't know what it would sell for now. Would it stay there? Rizzo and, and uh, Bryant are no longer the hype. Their careers are winding down. Uh, 
Well, let's look at some more. $10,000 for the CJ Stroud. Boy, is he the man. And now we saw Jaden Daniels. Is he the next guy to put himself next to CJ Stroud? And then guys like Trevor Lawrence. I, I Joe Burrow's starting to hit stride with that offense. But some quarterbacks that, you know, is Sam Darnold's doing well in Minnesota. Very interesting. That's not where I don't want to get too far in the weeds in NFL talk. But boy, is it fun. Can't wait for Sunday. The CJ Stroud, the highest NFL card we've seen so far. Uh, again, at $10,000, I'd assume to see a Tops Now football subdivision. I'd assume to see a Tops Now basketball subdivision eventually. We just, they put out cards. These are the huge hits. These are the big cards. They also just put out ev regular, everyday dude's MLB debut. Is Are they going to turn into the first rookie card, by the way? Because these MLB debut have the rookie card logo, and technically they're they're the rookie they're the first printed card with that rookie logo. The rest don't get printed until the release, you know, following their debut after they've played so many games. Here's a Ellie Dela Cruz. Speaking of a young prospect, 101 rookie, 2024 tops now. Sold May of 2024 for eight grand. Another, here's baseball, Acuna and Otani again at $6,000. Another Otani, this is him striking out Mike Trout. These are the biggest moments, not always, sometimes they're just glimpses, but because they do all these glimpses of moments, they hit these huge, iconic moments. And boy, was this a big moment between Otani and Trout. This was basically the descent of Trout. He's been injured. This was his chance to really make a name for himself, to really prove to win it for USA, to hit it off his teammate, Otani, the best player in baseball now. No, what happened is Otani struck him out, and now Otani is on his way to a... Uh, this season will live on for 100 years. This season won't be forgotten. It's incredible. Uh, so these are some of the bigger cards. I'll put some more next to me. I'm not, I don't want to go through any more, but as I'm talking, I'll just put some of the other bigger sales next to me. Tops now is a line of baseball cards first introduced in 2016, as I mentioned. The idea behind Tops now is to create the most exciting moments and capture the most exciting moments in baseball as they happen. And I hope they do the same for basketball and I hope they do the same for football. It offers fans a way to collect those real time moments. It also offers me and you an option to buy the card we want for 12 bucks, get it in a case, have an option at a chase and not have to spend $300 or even 40 to $60 on a bunk blaster where 70% of the time I probably feel used, 30% of the time I feel okay about it. Uh, in 2016 was the launch year, as I mentioned. Typically these cards are available for 24 hours. Some of these bigger cards they just released have been a 72 hour window, that does happen as well. And sometimes you could just straight up buy the auto version. Sometimes, not always, there's a heavy premium on the auto version. Let's see here, in 2020, the product started to blow up a little bit more because of COVID and this, everyone's sitting at home just like all cards, this added more, it was around since 2016. I don't know how many people are even still familiar with this Tops Now on-demand printing. When, when the USA card came out, so many people were clueless. Maybe I need to stop. Yeah, but I never go to stop. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely think it's uh, innovative, it's different, and it's now creating a buzz, a demand, and someone is going to pull these huge one-of-one -one cards, again, that are life-changing. It's exciting. It's fun. Have you bought a Tops Now card? Comment below. What do you think of this formula? Is it going to last? Is it going to get bigger? Is it going to... Are we seeing the peak now? I can't imagine. I think Tops has an... The Curry Messi card kind of proves to me that they know what they're doing here. They're, they want to keep one-upping it. They see what happened with this USA card. They're seeing the Otani card. This Messi Curry has nothing to... You know, nighty night Messi does and they found the opportunity. And they'll continue to do that to continue to make money. The funny thing as we wind down here is the big cards are selling for at most 10 grand, 20 grand, 30 grand. Now the USA card, the Otani card will sell for far more, 500,000, a million, who knows. But Tops earned $5 million on this and they're not putting back 5 million into the market in cards. 
printing definitely doesn't cost. That's a whole nother story. They're definitely profiting a ton. But the point is, is that like in back into the card market is one $30,000 card on a hundred thousand print run. That's interesting to me. I don't know if that I'm making sense here or if I'm, 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 you know, articulating this well enough, but I find it interesting. They're making all this money, but back as the card into the market, the big one, the one worth all the money, some of the parallels will sell for money and things like this, but it, it, nothing is getting, not $5 million is going into tops, not $5 million of, of value is being created in the card market. Anyways, tell me what you think of this new formula. I don't think it's going anywhere. I do think it will continue to gain popularity. I, I think tops, based on what I'm seeing here, has an idea. They're, they're seeing the growth and they're seeing a way to make a ton of money. It's fun. Is it not fun? Do you find it eh, just another gimmick? Am I wrong here? And who's who's right or wrong? Maybe, maybe it's not for you. Maybe it's not for me. It's not like I'm ordering a ton. I got my hands on one 40 Otani card. I didn't buy the USA. By the time I got to it, it ended. The same damn thing happened to me on the 50-50 card. As always, thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. On Monday, I'll come out with the, the multiple story video, five or six stories. Uh, there's a huge Magic the Gathering story I'll hit. A big time in that, in that world. Uh, it won't be the first story, but it'll be something on there. I haven't, you know, I'll, I'll try to continue to update you on all the information from this story or from this video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you have not. And again, as always, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Oh, there's the lovely Heidi, everybody. Oh, hey. What a great lady. I talked to her backstage. And... What up, everybody? This is Robert Ory, a.k.a. Big Shot Bob, and you're watching Professional Sports Cars. Hey, by the way, go buy my rookie card.